Hello my friends, welcome back to Hoogie Place and the Truckers Vlog here on American Truck Simulator. Uh, we are back in Kingman, Arizona, where we uh, unloaded in uh, the last uh, vlog. This is vlog number 53, I guess, if I don't uh, remember wrong. Uh, we are loading up this generator here at the roadwork where we unloaded the last log and we will uh, deliver this uh, piece of uh, machinery in um, a place called what was the name Grand Canyon Village or something like that we'll take a look at the map here yeah Grand Canyon Village so we will uh, go uh, towards uh, Flagstaff and then north up to, well, we will not go to the to the village itself, we will go to the Caterpillar that is uh, located between Flagstaff and Grand Canyon village, but it, it belongs to Grand Canyon village. So 185 miles, hopefully a nice drive, uh, the second of the day. So. Um, I hope that we will get there before it gets dark. Uh, I think we will uh, manage to do that. And to do that, we better get going uh, before it's too much traffic to get out on the road here. There is... Um, yeah, that went well. That was good. So, um, yeah. On the road again, first um, first American truck simulator ride uh, in a while, and you are probably uh, not interested in uh, the reason why I've been away, but I've had, as I said in the Euro Truck Simulator vlog. I've had an eye surgery one week ago, and um, I've been away since then. I had uh, both my eyes made, uh, two different uh, reasons for it, but I had to do it because my, my vision was uh, so bad, so uh, it got uh, b uh, bad quite uh, quickly and I was actually forced to do it otherwise I could not keep my job and well I uh, will would hate to lose my job if I can, uh, can avoid it so I had an eye surgery and uh, of course I had some <coughs> some complications uh, belong to that but uh, now it's fine took a week and uh, well not totally uh, not a week in total but uh, it took almost a week but now I have a vision like a teenager or something like that so uh, everything went well at last and now I'm back I will not uh, drive as much uh, American truck or Euro truck simulator game as uh, before, at least not now in the beginning, because uh, my eyes and my brain need to adapt to the new lenses and um, I can get tired very quickly, so I need to be careful. But um, it's uh, very nice to uh, be on the road again. So there, you have the reason for uh, my uh, for my uh, time away. And uh, well, probably a, an age thing, I guess. I mean, I'm not that young anymore, even if I feel young. Uh, yep, yeah. that's the reason, and here we have some sort of uh, 
junction let's see where we should turn here perhaps no absolutely not there here of course Kingman Los Angeles Flagstaff we are going towards Flagstaff Uh, this um, generator I didn't look at the weight of it so I don't know how much it weighed but, uh, generators are often um, heavy traffic coming from behind and we can no that was not necessary wasn't it was it so towards Flagstaff then and uh, I think that it is a good thing to overtake this Goliath Truck and trailer. And uh, as I've said before, if you wonder why uh, why the video is um, is doing like that, sometimes it's uh, probably because no, 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 no. You cannot, you cannot overtake like that. You need to have speed, my friend. As I said, uh, sometimes uh, the the image is stuttering, and that it can be because I want to change the camera view, but the game won't let me to do uh, let me do that. So uh, instead. Gives uh, some sort of stuttering, and uh, that is not my intention, but I cannot help it. Ow. And uh, I must say that it's really a new experience to drive with. Uh, new lenses because uh, my vision on long range my long range vision is perfect but the vision on short range is uh, different from before before the, the surgery I had a short vision that was pretty good but I had difficulties with the long-range vision but uh, now it's the opposite and uh, the surgeon told me that I would uh, need uh, reading glasses to uh, to have a good uh, short range vision and uh, let's see so that we can right here and we are holding left towards Flagstaff <coughs> looks good uh, so um, now when I'm sitting at the computer I am I am not using my glasses like I did before but on the other hand I am in a range from the from 
the screen that is a little between short and long range so I I uh, sometimes have difficulties with uh, re uh, reading uh, some text and uh, things like that that means that I need to use uh, need to use uh, reading glasses uh, in some situations but uh, I hope that it will be uh, something that I can adjust to with time and uh, yeah there are uh, actually there are glasses uh, that you use to uh, that you use when you uh, are sitting by the computer but I have not uh, got myself in, uh, uh, glasses like these yet because there has to go some time before I uh, before I get uh, try them out but oh did he crash but I hope that I I in the near future will uh, buy myself uh, computer glasses but as the doctor said to me I need to give it some time and therefore that's one more reason that I should not uh, should not uh, sit too much by the computer but I uh, I cannot stay away so uh, one reason per day uh, one, <laughs> one one journey per day is absolutely uh, is absolutely uh, no problem is uh, a little uncertain you can uh, experience uh, things that you are not used to and the driving can be a little a little uh, strange the, my driving behavior can be a little strange but driving a car uh, uh, my car uh, in real life now is absolutely perfect I've not seen this good for many years so uh, that is <laughs> also a new experience and uh, for those of you who don't live in Sweden we uh, pay a lot of tax here in, in this country and uh, sometimes we ask ourselves if we get something for what, what do we get for our taxes but actually uh, sometimes you, uh, you get something in return and uh, when it comes to uh, my eye surgery I got that for free since I pay taxes and, um, an eye surgery like this if you would buy it it would cost you at least uh, what do they say at least uh, seven thousand between somewhere somewhere around eight thousand dollars per eye I got my two eyes for free so that's that's a pretty good deal I think and uh, the people that uh, that uh, takes uh, take care of you in the hospital they are 
at least as skilled as if you would have bought the, the surgery if if not better so you don't get uh, worse treatment just because it's free and here we are at the caterpillar in Grand Canyon Village or outside and it looks like we have the easy parking spot here so um, let's see if we can finish off in a good style like this perhaps I guess if I just get the trailer with me in the back there do we yeah we are in place perhaps not the best um, parking but we got the green light on the cones so I will not uh, I will not bother with uh, correcting myself this time I'm glad to be here and there we have the parking brake so uh, let's disconnect the trailer and uh, well job completed generator delivered from Kingman to Grand Canyon Village seven thousand seventy dollars and uh, three hundred and fourteen experience points thank you my friends for coming with me on this journey I hope that you have enjoyed the ride and uh, I must say that I'm very very glad to be back at American Truck Simulator blog uh, please subscribe like comment and uh, uh, hopefully come with me on the next journey as well until the next time Take care, everyone. See you. Bye-bye.